I want to ask you about some of the things you've said about American universities. I know you've been very critical sure. of them. You gave an interview in February. You said the closest conservatives have ever gotten to successfully dealing with the left-wing domination of universities is Viktor Orban's approach in Hungary. I think his way has to be the model for us, not to eliminate universities, but to give the choice between survival or taking a much less biased approach to teaching. He seized control of state universities and put them in foundations that were then run by his allies. Is that what you're advocating be done in the United States? Well, Margaret, what you're seeing in the United States, actually, is that universities are controlled by left-wing foundations. They're not controlled by the American taxpayer, and yet the American taxpayer is sending hundreds of billions of dollars to these universities every single year. I don't want taxpayers I, controlling education, necessarily. I, is that I, what you're advocating I, for, federal government? Margaret, what I'm advocating control? for is for taxpayers to have a say in how their money is spent. Universities are part of a social contract in this country. They educate our children. They produce important intellectual property. They get a lot of money because of it. But if they're not educating our children well and they're layering the next generation down in mountains of student debt, then they're not meeting their end of the bargain. I think it's totally reasonable to say there needs to be a political solution to that problem. Well, America's universities still attract talent from around the world as You've went to one of America's very top schools. Look, there but, are still good but, things about American universities, but it's going in the wrong direction, Margaret. But, so, but Victor Orban in particular, as you know, I mean, he, he rewrote the Constitution. He neutered the courts. He has tried to control the media. These are not necessarily conservative principles. So why would you want to mimic him? Well, look, I'm not endorsing every single thing that Victor Orban has ever done. I don't know everything he's ever done. What I do think is on the university, on the university principle, the idea that taxpayers should have some influence in how their money is spent at these universities, it's a totally reasonable thing. And I do think that he's made some smart decisions there that we could we could learn from the United States. Well, he was just welcomed at Mar-a-Lago. And, and as you know, Leader McConnell just spoke out on the floor of the Senate this past week after Xi Jinping visited Hungary. He's trying to broker trade deals. They're brokering trade deals, not just with Russia, but with Iran. Orban, because of this, McConnell said it should be a red flag for anyone seriously concerned about competition with China. So why take any policy cues from a man and a country and a strategy cozying up to America's adversaries? Well, look, Margaret, Hungary is a nation of 10 million people. America is a nation of 330 million people in the most important economy in the world. I don't think that we should take every cue, but I actually have to reject the premise here because why is Viktor Orban getting closer to China? in part because American leadership is not making smart decisions. We are pushing other nations into the arms of Chinese, the Chinese because we don't make enough stuff, because we pursue a ridiculous foreign policy very often. We have to be more self-reliant. I don't like China. I don't like that China has stolen a lot of American jobs. The reason they've done it is because yeah. American leadership has made bad decisions. But that's you, our fault, and that's something we can fix as Americans. You, you've talked a lot about the, the need for the United States to pivot to Asia and let sure. the Europeans focus on Europe. But Xi Jinping is focusing on Europe. Why would you cede influence? You're, well, because you've really been opposed to helping Ukraine in its fight. You've said a lot of things that are... Well, suggested that you let, just let want me, to pull, let, pull me back. let me address that point, Mark. First of all, I think the reason that we have to be smart in Ukraine is we don't have a strategy. What is Joe Biden trying to do? What is another $60 billion accomplishing that $120 billion hasn't? We have to have a smart strategy to spend American taxpayer dollars. But, but on this- percent of it but funds on the, the U.S. Europe, defense industrial but Margaret, base but from on, the on supplemental On this question, just Europe passed. and China and the intertwinement between those two, Look, the reason Europe has become weaker is because they've deindustrialized. And why have they deindustrialized? Because they pursued a green energy agenda following the lead of the Biden administration, and that necessarily empowers China and Russia. We need to acknowledge that it's our decisions that are making these countries stronger. We need to fix that, not whine at countries that have well, 10 million people. Or, or people just like cheap stuff no matter where they live, right? So and they look for cheaper providers. Well, they'd love to have cheap but, energy in Europe, and they don't have it because of the policies of the green energy lobby. I want to ask you about abortion because we see sure. it in our polling as so motivating. But President